So for me, modeling is the process of mapping an informal problem description onto its formal representation. That is, we start with the knowledge, and this is informal, about the problem and encode this into a formal representation language, a formal knowledge representation language, which in our case are logic problems. Okay, but the question then is, why is this a good knowledge representation language? What actually constitutes a good knowledge representation language? And here actually John McCarthy, one of the fathers of our field, or better, the field of artificial intelligence, coined the notion of elaboration tolerance, simply saying a good knowledge representation language should be elaboration tolerant. And here's the definition. Paraphrasing, this principle says that whenever there is a small change in the real world, it should be reflected by a small modification to the representation of the real world. And if your formalism guarantees this, it is said to be a liberation tolerant. A first step to implementing this in formalism, such as answer set programming, is to use uniform problem representations, which are actually common in computer science. So the idea is that whenever you solve a problem, you divide it in two. You have the problem instance and you have the problem class. And the problem instance um, should in ASP normally be represented simply by facts, while the problem encoding is represented by rules with variables and, should they sh and this encoding should be able to solve all problem instances of the problem class. So again, this is all a bit um, high level. Let's start making this more precise and look at the workflow of ASP.